Hello everyone, Mr. Gamer is back, and welcome to part 3 of Sonic Heroes, where we go to the fourth stage of the game, Power Plant. In this stage, I absolutely hated as a kid, because, because, well, this stage was hot as hell, well, the, the last part of it at least, it was just, a pain in the ass to play, it's just... The last section you go to this lava shelter and my god it's a pain, but as in doubt it's piss easy now. But as a kid I fucking hate it. But Power Plant, it has some very intense music and... And honestly, I don't really care much for this version of the level with Team Sonic. I prefer Team Dark's version of Power Plant because it has a lot more extra goodies like 1-ups and wins and I think it has more like alternate pathways I think, like more shortcuts and it, it does have it here with Team Sonic but it can feel, it can still, if Cat is incomplete like it just, a lot of it feels very limited in Team Sonic but the music as before, it's awesome. The ante is up with his music. This pretty bad soundtrack. And... I don't mind the platforming. Like, I don't mind the hovering up in the air for upper platforms. And I actually have a video of this a couple years before. During the clusterfuck of COVID. Back in 2020, where I had my mom play it, and she was stuck in the stage for like 30 minutes. It was actually a video of it. It's like two minutes long. I might send a link in the description below, but yeah. This stage, it has its slow moments. Like, it has like an elevator section, which is so slow and tedious. For, I don't really mind it too much, because. I'm not super crazy, I'm like, speeding through the levels all the time, like, unlike other players, but it can be tedious, I guess, for some people, since it's a Sonic game and you expect to go fast and do high-speed action while platforming. Yeah, this is one of these stages. This stage is more focused on platforming, honestly. This is, like, this is like a complete opposite compared to Grand Metropolis. Yeah, this section. It's just, with Team Dogs, it actually has like, uh, what do they call it, boost pads, you know, that send you up in the air and stay on the ground. Like, you can, when we get to Team Dark, you see what I mean, you can like, get skip this whole section if you get through all those boost pads up in the air for flying characters. And like, for this section in Team Sonic on the other video sections, you have to wait. It's kind of like a waiting game, which you not expect to see in a, in a Sonic game. But, yeah. This stage, I'm not so crazy about. I prefer it on Team Dogs, but with Team Sonics, it's... It's a bit boring, but... It can still be fun at times, and... It does have some neat shortcuts, even on Team Sonics, even though Team Dog is more to awful. Team Rose is section of power plant is extremely short and with team chaotix well you have to do missions and most of the missions are not that fun but i'll get to that later when we get to team chaotix oh we get this neville obstacle it's just for this level but it's called fireballs and just if you get hit well you just lose all your wings so you get hit again without wings you die yeah so just avoid those fireballs and Team Sonic and team, especially Team Dog has a lot of these obstacles and it can be a bit of pain at first on your first playthrough. Yeah, so... Power Plant... Never, not really much to say about this level. Like, you know... We had some alternate paths, like I can take this path up with with me as Sonic homie attacking into enemies up up in the air with those top platforms. 
Or I could go to the bottom. In case you couldn't get to the get up there in the first place if you're not that great at this game yet. Yeah. Yeah, I found myself not be able to reach up there since I didn't know how to use the homing attack at first when I first played this game and I find myself constantly be on the lower platforms. Yeah, I do like that, like it's more of a shortcut, it kind of takes advantage of how some people call it the Sega Loading Cove, where you can slowly, the more you play the game, with Sonic games especially, you can notice you a lot more better with tricks and stuff. Oh yeah, in this section, like, with Team Dogs, you can wing dash to boost pads to to skip this whole section if you can get it right. With Team Sonic, these wing dashes are just pointless, honestly, because they do get you extra points, but they don't really get you a shortcut or anything. So, it feels kind of incomplete compared to Team Sonic's power plant level. Yeah. We're very close to the final section of power plants, the one that maybe Wage quit a few times as a kid. It took me like a month, I think, maybe two, to get me to beat Team Sonic's and Team Dog's power plant section. Because with Team Sonic and Team Dog's, oh, this part's kind of cool. You can't just run around up on this big ball and power plant, and I don't get evil, but you get like a cool sequence where you see yourself in automatic winning. In the ball itself. Okay, this is the part, folks. Where you um, you go to this lava section and this giant. You have to get up the platforms. Well, get higher, higher in this place. In this lava shelter. In this lava on the bottom. I guess that's what it's going through. Those wood pipes and with stuff. We see for at the city levels, but it's just rising up, and you have to get going because it's gonna reach up and kill you. And this terrified me as a kid. It, it was hot as hell at first. Uh, it was just too much going on, and sometimes the camera can be a bit awkward. Like it was, it was extremely difficult for me to know where I'm going as tails trying to get up those extra extra layers with the hatch with it. With the camera, it was so unclear where I need to be at, and I, I always, the lava almost always catch up to me. It was just a pain. I hate it. I hate this section as a kid. And just maybe hate Power Plant at the time. That was tight. Yeah, that was tight indeed. We're gonna go to our second uh, special stage where we get our second Chaos Emerald. And oh, come on, load. I'm using like a full party memory card, so the game even loads longer than usual. A lot of games with this new memory card I got a few months ago constantly loads. Like, yes, the other day I tried to play Manhunt on the PS2, and the game just froze on me. It just it crashed, I think, I guess, because the, the type of memory card I was using. And if if one. If anyone could tell me what I have to do to fix that problem, just let me know in the comics. But this is the second special stage, and this time you have to dodge obstacles like spikes that could kill your momentum and slow you down pretty much. I think I already went through this with the first special stage in Grand Metropolis, so I don't think I need to explain much. But yeah, if you know what you're doing, if you get used to these awful controls in the special stages, then it's a piece of cake. Yeah, I don't have much to say in this video right now. Uh, well, I could say, guys, I did got application for a possible new job for Dunkin' Donuts, so. I haven't had a job before. Yeah, I'm like 21. How sad. <laughs> but, hey, I might. I just filled out the application the other day. So, 
I might be able to possibly get a job interview soon, as long as I pass out that application. Gotcha, my darling Sonic. Amy, what are you doing here? Sonic, this time there's no way out of marrying me. Ugh. This is the Alphost team battle, battle boss fight where you fight Team Rose and just... I really hated this uh, boss fight as a kid as well. Just, just Sonic games have a bad reputation with boss battles and like Team if Sonic Adventure was piss easy, Sonic Adventure 2 was just oh, half the fights was just confusing and glitch up the ass. <laughs> but with this, it's just if you keep punching at each other or hitting a thunder shoot or whatever, you're just not gonna get anywhere. Like the other team members from the other team will like get off, go on the ground in pain and get up and you keep doing it over and over, it just never ends and I think everyone knows at this point the best way to to beat these, bo these team battle boss fights is to use the tornado attack. Either a Sonic or Shadow, Amy or Espio. And clearly I'm not doing that because well, I guess I want to try better ways to fight this boss fight without using the tornado effect, uh, attack. But yeah. For you to get a link for these team battles, you have to be under fi Man, under 30 no seconds. Way. And a query, I barely be under a minute, so yeah, I got B wink. But yeah, Team Rose, I should mention, is much more easier. Team Sonic is kind of like the normal difficulty. Team Dogs is like extreme difficulty, but it's just kind of the same, just but more. Robots to fight in Team Rose is like much easier. Like it's practically for beginners if you really suck at this game, especially if it's Team Sonic or Team Dog. So if I guess I suggest if you want to get into this game and if it's way too hard for Team Sonic or Team Dog, I suggest being it with Team Rose first. I did when I played beat this game as a kid. <laughs> yeah. So okay guys, that was part 3, part 3, and I'll see you in part 4, and thanks for watching my video, bye. Don't forget to click subscribe and like.